Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome back to some more LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. This one is going to be for level number 7 by Frosty Reception Story Mode. So just getting through the level, and uh, as you will notice, you can see 95,000 studs for the True Believer. And we are also going to be picking up one uh, achievement slash trophy uh, this time for by Frosty Reception, because that is what the level is called. But anyways folks, we're actually going to get this one started as per usual with a cutscene. They'll be fine, Director Fury. They may not be super, but they are heroes. Colonel Fury, sir. Loki jumped into a vortex and vanished. I know someone that can help locate him. I've just remembered. I gotta go buy some more hair gel. I'll catch up to you. Something about that big rainbow road. Looking at it, I just feel like I want to race! Well, if you didn't catch it there, Human Torch said that, uh, he's thinking of, like, they were talking about a rainbow road, and then Human Torch is like, oh, that just makes me want to race. Obviously, a reference to Mario Kart and its infamous rainbow road track, which, uh, that's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, let me know down below, um, just get a little conversation going. What's your favorite Mario Kart track? I'd have to say my favorite Mario that's a really good question. Uh, if you've ever played Mario Kart 7 on the 3DS, that has a really good Rainbow Road. I know we were just on the topic of Rainbow Road. And, yeah, but that is genuinely a really good track. But anyways, all we got to do here is uh, just fly all the way over here to this spot here. And we're just going to fly down. You'll see Thor there. Just fly down. I'm just going to trigger the cutscene. Most of what S.H.I.E.L.D. knows about Thor and his people remains highly classified. What little information we've obtained about his home, Asgard, comes from, well, this one children's book found by Dr. Eric Selvig in New Mexico. Seems pretty accurate so far. Get a load of this guy. Ooh, very theatrical with the lightning and everything. He is the god of thunder. It's sort of his thing. I sense the opening of the Vortex because brother Loki used it as a pathway to Asgard. What the heck's he after? He is ever after only one thing. Power. And also helmets with horns. He's ah. really into those. Hey. So, uh, also, uh, as we loaded out there in New York, you may have noticed we did actually pause and uh, turned on some extras, and uh, that is because we have purchased now the 2x stud multiplier, as well as the extra hearts extra, just two extras that you unlock um, off rip, and uh, yeah, we went ahead and bought them after level number five, so we've, this is actually our second level, having them, so uh, yeah, probably don't need to continue to mention that, but um, yeah, anyways, also something I didn't actually mention, uh, Something I also did not mention is that in this level we actually grab a minicat and it's coming up here any second You can see that we grabbed one minicat now You're probably like whoa, 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 how did we grab that minicat because if you played the game or if you're playing the game along with us You will have grabbed that minicat as well Like no, no matter what there's no way you could have not gotten that minicat and that's just because the game gives it to you For, for some reason they're just like oh, yeah, we're just gonna give it to you Like Deadpool is flying down the portal thing with us and he just gives it to us. You can't avoid it. There's no... So, yeah, it, look, it's annoying because we don't really want to pick up the mini kids. Kind of, we just like to save them for the free play. That way, we can just get them all together in the one video. It just makes the most sense to us. But since everybody has to get it, we're not too peeved about it. Anyways, uh, once you've gotten out of that portal there, you can do a bunch of stuff. We have also now already crossed the 95,000. There were a lot of studs off um, at the beginning of this level, so... Very easy to get that 95,000. But anyways, most importantly, here in the middle of the area, you saw some th three ice cubes. So, use, and not the wrapper. That's not the wrapper, by the way. That is just actual ice blocks or ice cubes. So, use the human torch to melt them away. I, have we used human? Yeah, we used human torch actually in the last level. So. 
Yeah, that's pretty rare. We're playing as the same superhero, or the same character, two levels in a row. But there are a lot of other characters with us as well. In fact, Captain America, yeah, we played as him in the last level as well. But that was just at the end. Anyways, melt those three ice cubes, and then build up the parts into a electric generator. And this is actually where Thor is going to come in. If you don't know, Thor is the god of thunder, so it makes perfect sense that he can charge up those electric generators. So just charge up his electrical powers, and then... Uh, Power up the generator with uh, his electric beam, and then some enemies storm us, so we just take them out. But uh, then we kind of realize, you know what? We could just run straight past them, so we're just going to ignore them there. After, yeah, after we pretty much took all of them out, we then decide to ignore them and head straight through. But anyways, you'll actually make your way out here onto this rainbow road. So I guess we can bring ourselves back to that Mario Kart conversation we were having a bit before. Um, Mario Kart, man, that's just such a fun game. Like all of them are really fun. I mean, I haven't, I haven't had the pleasure of being able to play all of them, but I have played a couple of them, and uh, I am a fan of uh, Mario Kart DS, and then that's kind of like a, that's such, that's such a throwback for me, I played that so, like, I played that for so many years, so many years ago, um, but yeah, that's just a really, really spectacular game, and really a lot of them are, so, yeah, again, let me know down in the comments your favorite Mario Kart game, and then also your favorite Mario Kart track, out of all the ones you've played, that would be, that would be pretty cool to know, actually, what what people think what their favorites are but you know either way just taking out some enemies along this rainbow road here not something you usually do on rainbow road typically you're just driving and uh, well i guess you are taking out your opponents the other drivers on the track to be fair so i guess that's kind of what we're doing here a little bit but we're just smashing their teeth in we're not throwing banana peels or uh shells at them we're just smacking them in their teeth but uh yeah basically you just have to take out all the enemies that uh attack you along the way uh, and then we're going to make our way over here, and you can see Loki here, so uh, run up to him, and he's going to mind control you, so just switch to one of your other characters. That's a pretty simple thing, we had that a couple levels ago, I think, uh, in the prison island level, um, rock up the lock up, uh, if you remember that little mini boss battle against the leader, he mind controlled one of us, and then we had to switch to another one to take him out. Literally the same thing here. Uh, and then we're actually going to be able to melt that massive um, ice wall, so use the human torch to do that, and then... We'll actually be able to throw Thor's hammer here, which is the Mjolnir, I think is what that what what his hammer's called. Which obviously later then he gets the Stormbreaker. Which I, I always have preferred the, the Mjolnir, but obviously the Mjolnir does break in uh, I think it was Thor Ragnarok, like Hella who ends up being Thor's sister just destroys the hammer. I was thought that was like a bit disappointing, like it was a bit like why did that happen? But you know, I guess it probably makes sense with that character. But anyways, you can just throw his hammer up at the cracked wall. And that's just a lot easier than running up to him and smashing it. You can just throw your hammer. And that's going to be really good because uh, later on, especially in some of the free play and uh, free roam as well around New York, there are going to be a lot of instances where there's going to be like high up cracked walls that are on like the sides of buildings. And that's thought going to be perfect. But anyways, fly up top there to Loki. And again, he's going to mind control you. So just switch to human torch uh, so basically you have to use the two flying characters thor or human torch fly up there he'll mind control whoever you are there and then you just have to switch to the other one fly up and knock uh loki silly and then for some reason he's actually going to help us out here he thinks he's like he thinks he's making it worse for us by shooting down those pillars in the back but it actually helps us because we can actually build the parts into a uh, little bridge here so that captain america and wolverine who can't fly can actually get up top here with that much trouble but uh yeah so just build that up a little ramp there for them to run on up and that is very convenient for us and then we'll also coop up those purple studs there look at that two hundred thousand already already doubled our um that uh true believer status and we're not even 10 minutes into level that is just that's when you know it's good and uh yeah this 2x stud multiplier is going to go a long way and that multiplier is only going to grow as we unlock more of those red Bricks. In fact, red bricks, I haven't even really talked about them too much, but you do unlock them from... So, okay, so let, let, let's kind of get something straight here with this level. So, uh, in this game, since we're kind of like halfway through the story now, uh, at this point, yeah, I'd say about halfway through is about right. After a bit of the next level, not exactly halfway, but... After the next level, we will be past, just past the halfway point, so I guess next level will stay we're in the halfway point. But, we're basically at the halfway point. <laughs> anyway... Not that that really matters, but the, so there are the 15 main levels, like in the main story, and then there's like 11, I think, yeah, there are 11, like, bonus levels, which are just, like, additional levels 
Um, and I won't spoil too much about them, but there are like 11 small, they're like smaller levels. They are like story levels, so they have a story, they have a free play. But there's not like 10 mini kits in them. Because they're really little level levels. They're just like one area levels. And instead of having mini kits, they actually have the red bricks inside. So that's how you unlock the red bricks. So Harry Potter, they were just around the free room. Lord of the Rings, same deal. But here, they're actually in the levels, but not the main levels. They're in the additional levels. So yeah, again, there are 11 of those. So we'll be unlocking all of those as we go along. But, uh, yeah, I know I haven't really been talking here, but all we had to do was just do some stuff. I think we had to melt a gold horse statue with the human torch. And then build the parts into a lever. We push that, and then we can run those, run up those stairs here to this section of the area. We're kind of in, like, an open spot. And again, I think Loki might have mind-controlled us then. We just had to hit him with one of our other guys, so... A little bit boring in that case. But, um, there is actually a boss battle coming up at the end of this level, which is a lot more interesting than just mind controlling. In fact, there is a mind controlling involved, but Loki is not mind controlling us. He's actually involving the guy we have to fight. Well, not the guy, like the thing we have to fight. So, you'll see that all in a second. And, um, yeah, I do also want to know who out there is actually playing this game for the first time. Because this game, of course, is like 11 years old. Well, I think it'll be 11, I think it's 11 in October. So, still a few months out and it'll be 11 years old. But it's over 10 years old, which is crazy. It came out back in 2013. So, I'm wondering who's here watching this series and playing this game for the first time. I'm, I'm actually very curious because I feel like a lot of people will have played this a long time ago and are, you know, maybe watching to get a refresher um, if they've forgotten some things. But, uh, yeah, just, yeah, let me know if uh, this is your first time playing or uh, if if you've even played this game at all. Like, maybe you're just watching and you haven't even played this game ever and you're thinking about watching it or thinking about playing it. And if you are thinking about playing it, I would highly recommend you get it because it's a really, really solid game. It's very good. It's got a very fun story and just being able to fly around as Iron Man and Thor and <laughs> Smash and everything as Hulk. I mean, it's it's unreal. It's a very fun game. It's very different to Harry Potter in a lot of ways. But it's... it's I, I can't really compare them yet. I haven't played enough of this game. I mean, obviously, I've, pl I've played this game in the past, but you know, I think the one of Guide series kind of brings out... Um, a different side of me for a game, um, in a good way, but, uh, anyways, you can see here, just making our way through some story, you did notice a massive cracked wall up on the side of that statue in the back there, obviously, again, since it's a bit higher up, you gotta throw your hammer at it with Thor, so that's pretty simple, but, yeah, that's pretty much the most confusing thing there that we just did, and yeah, again, story videos, I mean, the story in this game is pretty well laid out for you, but, uh, still fun to make the story videos, definitely, and, Again, so that's kind of the groundwork for the game, and then we can hit the ground running with uh, the free play and all the collectibles and everything. But anyways, we're going to fly up into this kind of room here, which looks like a bit of like a, a dining room almost, but it's obviously frozen over for Mr. Loki, because he's actually a frost giant, if you all didn't know. Um, he is indeed a frost giant. But uh, anyways, what we're going to do here, use Wolverine's sense ability to detect the real Loki, who was actually invisible the whole time. And then, again... For like the fourth time in this level, he's going to mind control us, so what we're going to do is switch to one of our other characters and knock him silly. And then he's actually going to knock down the chandelier, which again, he thinks is going to like hurt us or whatever, but it actually ends up helping us big time because it drops some parts here, which we can build into a shield switch. So we'll do that here in a second. Just going to smash some stuff up for some more studs. Look at that. Two, no, no sorry. 300,000. That's, that's crazy. But anyways... Throw your shield into the shield switch once you build, of course, as Captain America, because no one else has a shield. In fact, Captain America is the only character in this whole game that can do that, so he's going to be proved, he's going to prove to be very useful, but, but useful, but anyways, that door's going to open up, so what we're going to do is make our way through, and that's going to take us away to another castle. The Tesseract is dangerous, brother. Oh, and so am I, brother. I intend to get my revenge on you, on Earth, and on Asgard. What are you planning, Loki? You can't make me tell. You are not the god of me. Oh, thou dost vex me with that taunt. You have used it since we were children. Do you remember this little plaything? Well, 
and here we are, that thing I was referring to before as who our boss battle is that Loki is mind controlling is actually the destroyer who is not really who is a character but it's like a giant robot from Asgard that's uh, here to well destroy us as it would be but anyways pretty simple boss fight here it's just a bit tedious and long because you have to there's a lot of waiting around for stuff to happen so basically the destroyer is going to shoot you with these giant fireballs and uh, my best recommendation would be play as Human Torch because he's actually immune to all fire damage. As it makes sense because he's literally made of fire. Anyways. So, yeah, I just play as Human Torch because you're not going to get hurt from the fireballs that he spews down at you. But uh, eventually, he is going to shoot down kind of a meteor shower of these um, fireballs. So, what we've got to do is dodge that and then, yeah, just... <laughs> He's going to basically keep attacking with his fireballs, and you got to keep taking out the frost giants that are attacking you, and then eventually some parts will kind of show up in the middle of the area, very conveniently for us, so just build them up into a, not a shield switch, but actually a deflect pad. I think we've used a couple of these throughout the game. But anyway, switch over to Captain America, who can use his shield to deflect this beam that is being shot straight at us, and deflect it onto Loki here, and because uh, obviously... He's kind of the guy we're after, because if we can take him out, then the destroyer's not going to be a problem for us. But we're kind of taking out both at the same time. But anyways, we actually fly over here to the kind of back right side, and tucked away it's going to be a couple purple stuff. Well, a purple stud, and I think we can do But something I have noticed with this game is when you're flying, you actually have a bit of an attract studs. With you. Like, some of the studs kind of magnetize to which, which is very handy, I'll say. But anyways, then just use Thor. You do have to use Thor there, by the way, to um, actually hurt the destroyer there. You kind of jump up and smash him in his chest, but uh, also a save station there if you want to save your game, which uh, we, we've been doing the, the save stations because like we may as well, you know, we don't want to lose all our progress in the level so far. But, uh, you know, feel free if you don't want to. I, I haven't noticed any, like, like, I haven't noticed anything that would, like, make me not want to do them. Like, my game hasn't glitched or anything, so... Maybe there's something to look out for, but I haven't noticed anything, so I'm just going to stick with it and continue to use the, um, continue to use the, um, save stations. Um, I don't use every single one, I skip some of them if they're really close to another one, but, yeah. Just, it does, it, you can do it, do it, don't do it, doesn't matter. But anyway, you can see that an ice rock did appear at some point in the middle of that area, so just use Human Torch to destroy it, or, oh, sorry, just melt it. And then uh, we could build the parts up into a deflect pad, and again, as Captain America, deflect the laser you back up at never win. Loki. And then uh, we get a bit greedy, try to grab some studs there, but then Loki freezes us, and we fall back into the arena here. But, again, we're going to switch our way over to Human Torch, because, again, he's just immune to all fire damage, and uh, he's over really good, because you can just really quickly shoot these fireballs, which will just insta-kill the Frost Hands, because they're not very immune to fire, as you might be able to guess, but uh, anyways, we'll uh, take them all out, and then eventually you can see there pretty quickly another um, ice rock reveals itself, so we're going to go ahead and melt that. Now, what's actually interesting is you can just stand next to some ice objects, and if you're kind of in the flame-on mode, as human torch, it'll just kind of melt automatically without you having to really do anything, just stand next to it and melt, so that's actually a pretty cool thing to note, but anyways, we are going to deflect this laser back at Loki. And uh, then we'll actually be able to finish off the destroyer here in a second once this little cinematic scene pans away. But uh, Loki will destroy the flag pad, but that is alright. So we're going to switch over through. to Thor here, fly up to the destroyer, and then we're going to go ahead and attack him one last time. I'm actually going to pull his head off here, and then we're going to use our hammer like a baseball bat and just smash that head away. And then what we got here is to finish off Loki, but uh, this is not going to be the last time we encounter Loki, in fact. I don't even know if this is the second last time we encounter Loki. I don't know. Well, yeah, we won't spoil it in case you haven't played this game before, but yeah, Loki is pretty, pretty major villain in this game. But anyways, use Wolverine's sensibility yet again to detect the real Loki, and then he's going to come and mind control us, so we're going to switch one of our other characters back to the handcuffs. <laughs> I will
return the Tesseract to the safekeeping of the treasure room. Hey, Blondia, I hate to point this out, but it just got stolen from there. Maybe your security's not so good. S.H.I.E.L.D. has an entire battalion of troops dedicated to guarding the Tesseract. Humans, guarding this item of immense power. Please, I can rain thunder and lightning on anyone who touches it. I bet this glow cube can help me find Magneto. I can ask Chuck about that. And there we have it, another level in the books. Bifrosty Reception level complete free play is indeed unlocked. You can see that we did get the Bifrosty Reception achievement slash trophy as promised. We also did unlock Thor finally, so I think that actually rounds out all the main adventures. Yeah, we got Iron Man, we got Hulk, we got Hawkeye, we got Black Widow. We got Thor now, and who, who's the other one? Who's the other, like, main... Captain, yeah, Captain America, how could I forget the main one, Captain America? We have it. Yes, sir. that was our last of the main Avengers unlocked, so that is cool. And he's also going to be really useful because he's got that uh, lightning or electricity ability. But uh, you can see there, one mini kit. Mm, so sad, but couldn't do much about it. But another two gold bricks added to the pile. And hey, would you look at that? That is going to bring us to the conclusion of this one. Uh, level number seven by Frosty Reception. Another level in the books. And hey, folks, if you did find this one helpful or perhaps entertaining um i don't know a like would certainly be appreciated also do feel free to subscribe comment anything you've got did ask a couple questions throughout this one so feel free to answer those down below uh, as a refresher what's your favorite mario kart game and what's your favorite mario kart track we had a little bit of a mario kart theme with the rainbow road in this one but um yeah let me know down below and any other questions are more than welcome or anything at all is very welcome but obviously keep it keep it considerate and respectful of course but Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to go ahead and do it for me for this one. And until the next one, I will see all of you later. So everybody, 